I've been doing it for 30 years. I started when I was seven. I've been clogging for over a year now. I've been clogging for three years. I've been clogging less than two years. I was a freshman in college when I heard about the dance, and I thought it sounded like something fun to do, out of the ordinary, a little unique, and I gave it a shot, and I took a couple classes, fell in love with it, and then two years later, I started teaching. And uh, this is my 30th year of being in clogging. My degree is in education, and so I, I love teaching the next generation uh, about the dance, sharing the dance, and most importantly, to keep it growing and to keep it alive in the area. Clogging is a very old dance, uh, originated in Appalachian Mountains, and is the official state dance of Kentucky. It's been around for hundreds of years, but is a mixture of African, Irish, uh, German, and English step dancing. There's taps on the shoes, on the toes and on the heels, and I love the aspect of using your feet as an instrument. The dance itself actually has eight basic moves or steps to that. And so when we're doing a beginner class, we teach them all the eight basic movements or steps to the, to the dance. And then it's an endless combination, really, of how you put those steps and movements together that makes up the clogging. As far as the music, I use anything with a good, fast, lively beat. And we dance to the downbeat or the bass sound to the music. We have all different levels of dancers, all different abilities. My teaching style is very encouraging. I want to see people smiling. I want to see them having fun. They are constantly being uh, encouraged to keep going, to keep trying, try to get a little bit faster as they go. And so through that encouragement and through the repetition of steps, they are able to master that step and master a routine. No matter what you do, he makes you feel successful. He's really, really good at what he does. Barry, you know, he, he greets you when you come through the door and makes you feel welcome. Once you get in that class, and people start laughing and smiling, having a good time, you're moving. By the time that class is over, my stress is gone. And their stress is gone from their day. So we've all had a great time. I have just recently returned from the Air Force. I was stationed in Arizona. So I haven't been dancing for four years. So last week and this week has been my first uh, two classes back. It was my aunt. She had told us one night at a family dinner that she was going to be going to clogging. And so she invited me and my mom and my grandmother. And so that's what got us started. I actually attended a Lanham Brothers Jamboree and I was with a group of friends and my friend leaned over and said, this is exactly what I want to do. I want to be a clogger. And I said, well, let's do it. Me and my brother put together what's called the Lanham Brothers Jamboree. The show is based out of Diamond Lake Resort Good Time Theater in Owensboro. Randy and I, we put the show together about 11 years ago. He does the music part of it, I do the dance part of it. We bring in different acts, but one thing that is always a signature part of the show is the music and the dance. The dance troupe name is Foot Stompin' Express Cloggers. A couple of years ago, we took the dance troupe, a few of the members, and we went to Shanghai, China, introduced the dance there at Shanghai International School that was part of their PE program. And so I spent a week residency there teaching the dance. Also, we performed at Kentucky Fried Chickens in Shanghai. So it was a very wonderful opportunity to introduce the dance to a different culture, to a different country, and it just shows you what you can do with the dance. Several students that come through have goals in mind on what they want to achieve from the dance. So I had one uh, a student who called me up a couple of years ago. Her name was Katie Bouchard. She said, Barry, I want to learn how to clog because I'm going to be Miss Kentucky. I said, okay, that sound, that's interesting. 
Then she entered the classes, done very well, and then we went on to some private classes. I did all the choreography for Katie. We worked hard through the years. 2018, the judges loved it. She won the Miss Kentucky title. We we're so proud of her to be representing Owensboro and Kentucky and the Foot Stomp and Express Dance Troupe. I started in it and then my children joined me and as I tell people, they grew up and I didn't. So I'm still here doing it and none of them do. I got into it and it was a lot of fun and I enjoyed it and I stuck with it and stuck with Barry. There's always another step you can learn. There's another dance you can learn. There's another routine you can learn. It's just fun. I wish more people would get involved in it. Clogging has been the state dance of Kentucky since 2006. It's a wonderful promotional tool to bring recognition to Kentucky, and it brings attention not only to the dance, but also to the state. The reason it's so important to me is because I think the dance is so fascinating. I love seeing the people have fun with the dance. It's the way that I'm sharing my time and my talents. I will keep teaching the dance. I don't plan on slowing down anytime soon. I want to keep it growing and going.